Hey guys, welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. I've been waiting for this one for a while. If you guys are not out on Twitter, you need to go out there and follow us on Twitter and you would see what this video was with a few sneak peeks. BBT Todd and I this week took the Starlink out at BBT East and we wanted to test how would an ASIC miner running on Starlink what would its results be with the pings and its bandwidth? What's the story on it, right? We've had a lot of people ask us, hey, you guys are going to Starlink. You're going to deploy it as a backup to one of your sites. You know, are you going to have race conditions? Are you going to have issues when it comes to stealth shares? What What's the issue with, uh, you know, any kind of ping that the, the Starlink would have? So we wanted to answer those questions. So we went out there and we wanted to do it in a decentralized way with regards to not having, you know, local power were out in the open so we took a generator that we have we have a champion generator here it's about 7200 watts of power we had a fashion a 50 amp style plug so this is this generator only outputs 30 amp on this which is more than enough for you know an l7 which we used in this example s19 same way we fashioned our own plug with this and show you guys this kind of setup here where we could hook up an S19 or an L7 out on this generator abroad, hook to the Starlink, and we could try it from various locations. So this gives us the capability to go out and test potential sites. And I highly recommend this if you're a shop looking to expand somewhere, getting a generator, getting this plug put together in this fashion to allow you to go out there and see if you have 5G wireless, if it's 5G ultra wide, if you have Starlink, that sort of thing, and be able to test it like this. See if you have shares uh, that can be submitted without any kind of issues. And what you see here is roughly two hours and 15 minutes of it running continuously. This is an L7 that we were testing here and had no stealth shares, no orphan shares share submitted and uh, verified on the pool. It does work. The next phase of this test that we're doing with you guys is we're actually taking this back to the BBT farm and we're going to hook this up as our primary internet there. So you're looking at about 30 giga hash of GPU power and you're looking at about 110 ASIC miners that will be running through this. So that's a pretty good size setup. So you're looking at machines and ASICs running simultaneously through routing using Ubiquiti G Dream Machine Pro as a you know router in front of that. So we are double natted there. Uh, so we actually have two routers. In that case, I wanted to make sure that we could actually have a failover to the farm with Starlink. And I think that'd be a really good follow-up to it. So definitely want to check on that one. So I think that wraps it up for us on this one. You guys can see the, the performance of that. You're going to want to start watching the channel. We're going to be putting some more content related to the Starlink once we get it hooked up on our, our machines out there. Also on the four containers, I think that'll be an exciting one too. And we have some immersion content coming up for you guys too. So a lot of stuff coming up. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. Peace.